Oh, hey, everybody. Welcome back. Getting some rain gear for tomorrow. Tomorrow, my dad and I are going to bring the Bay Breeze back to New Bedford to start having things done on it, including stepping the mast and having it rigged and other things. But tomorrow morning, there's some possible scattered thunderstorms and rain. So I'm going to be prepared. Bring some rain gear. On top of the rain gear, Going to need a handheld radio, binoculars. I'm also going to need a good sun hat, sunglasses, and also keys for the Bay Breeze. Bay Breeze keys. And we need the dagger board, fresh cone of paint from Captain Bob. We also need gas. And mom packed some food for tomorrow. We'll be good. Holy crap. Just about to go to bed and look what's on the news. The INO hit the Hyannis Port Jetty. We'll be going out there tomorrow morning. We're out here, we're getting everything ready to leave. Just about ready. Winds died down quite a bit, which is awesome. No rain. All according to plan. <laughs> it's an unbelievable sight to see the I and O up on the breakwater though, right here. It's nuts. Jetty is definitely damaged a little bit and it'll probably be there for at least a couple days before they can figure out how to get it off. And here we go to New Bedford. Okay, we're underway, trying to find the, one of the first buoys to help us navigate. And uh, I'm gonna have some muffins for breakfast. Mom packed some muffins. It's pretty crummy out, it's kind of rainy. A little bit of wind. Uh, there's, there's a sea though, so it's kind of bumpy out here. That was pretty incredible to see the INO up on the breakwater, which we see that boat every day and it's uh, kind of unreal when you see a ferry out on that breakwater when you see the breakwater every day i try to get a bunch of pictures so we're gonna have some muffins and uh hopefully we'll get there in about five or six hours It's cold and wet. There's fog rolling in. 
Last time we brought the Bay Breeze to New Bedford, we were in fog too. So, lucky us. about to the hurricane barrier in New Bedford. So we're getting pretty close. And as soon as we get there, we're gonna tie up the boat and head right back to Hyannis because we're trying to do a tour at two o'clock. It's been a long trip today. <laughs> Alrighty, do I look tired? Cause I'm tired. It's been a long day. We still have to do our sunset cruise. We just did, uh, I had to charge both my GoPros so I didn't, I didn't do any filming uh, from when we docked in New Bedford to now. So we did two tours and we're sold out for sunset cruise tonight. A uh, couple things went on during that with the whole INO um, ferry business. So um, it's, it's crazy how fast everything happened. Again, the INO is the motor vessel, the high-speed ferry that hit the breakwater, uh, you know, last night, Friday night, and they pulled it off this morning after uh, we left to go to New Bedford, and uh, they brought it right into the docks of the steamship, and when we went on our first tour at two o'clock, they already had a ferry from New York that they're obviously renting out to replace it. So they already were, they already had it ready and they're off on Nantucket right now. They just brought people over, so pretty fast. And also on the, the tour we just did at four, uh, the INO left and it's obviously going to the shipyard. They're gonna have to haul it out and have it inspected by the Coast Guard. So it's already on its way over there. So pretty wild, but uh, also during, the tours, we went out there and we got to see the aftermath of the, the jetty. The other part of the story, uh, when we weren't filming, was that Captain Bob, Captain Bob and I planned about six hours to get there and we left at around six. Well, it took us six and a half hours. We figured we'd be back in time for the two o'clock tour. And, and what time did we get back? We get back at 1.55. One fifty-five. <laughs> right back to the dock, just in time to get on the boat and start the engines and do the tour. Two tours. And we did two tours, so we were both exhausted. We have to do sunset cruise. Yep, but, but we will do it, it'll be great. Nothing can stop Captain Bob and Captain Jake. Let's get some food. We're gonna go get some food. 
a Fort Sunset Cruise, and we have chosen either the Black Cat Shack out back or the Harbor Shack. So we picked the Black Cat Harbor Shack, but you can't do takeout anymore. You have to be served and be seated by a waitress. Oh, that's but that's fine, because we don't want to do anything right now but sit and relax. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So look who joined us tonight. My best friend Jackie B. Hi, from Base Spirit, somewhere on Spaceship Earth. Vlogs. Okay, the bachelor party here wants to be in the vlog. This is gonna be the end of it, which is good. It's gonna be a nice, exciting ending, but this girl over here, what's your name? Kayla. Kayla? Yeah. Kayla's getting married, and these are all her friends. New, Texas, new friends. Texas, Texas, Texas. Texas. <laughs> so what do you guys think about the Bay Spirit? We love it! We love it! We love it! We love it! Wave bye! bye.